Blog Talk Radio.
all are going to be with you uh, this morning. Take the time, And I want to express to you uh, to prove your own faith. Yes, Lord, man. To understand that faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. The more you hear the word, the more the word is unfolded to you through correct teaching. Yes, Lord, man. Faith is a developed process. It is first taught, and then it is allowed to be a part of your life. When you believe in the Word of God, then you're willing to stand on His Word. In the book of Ecclesiastics, I want to take my main thought from chapter uh, 12, and I want to connect it with the book of Daniel, chapter Amen, 3. Amen, prophet. Now, again, the thought I want to share with you, it deals with how a person develops a relationship with God through a guidance. Jesus always sent rightly guided ones, prophets and apostles who would lead the people in the pathway that God would have for them to travel. Oftentimes we get caught up in a personality cliche. When you get caught up in individual personality, you are not able to receive the character of God. We need to learn how to develop a spirit that is totally submissive to the guidance that God is giving us through the Holy Scriptures. In Ecclesiastes uh, from uh, chapter 12, verse 9. And moreover, because the preacher was wise, he still taught the people knowledge, yet he gave good heed and sought out and set in order many proverbs. Sometimes you have to uh, teach the people through a, a purpose of thought by parables. You have to give people illustrations. And then the people can apply the illustration in a spiritual manner to their life. Now again, the spirit has to indwell in the individual to receive anything from the spirit of God. Because as I've shared with you often, and I tell you again, God is a spirit. Though his personality is in glory in the heavenly kingdom, his spirit dwells with us. Yes. But you have to seek the Spirit of God and His righteousness yes. first. When you have the Spirit of God, it unlocks a door yes. of knowledge. Yes. And when a scripture comes to you through guidance and through teaching, yes. then it explodes in your character oh, yeah. and you begin to set your character like you have been instructed right. by the Word. All times you set uh, a priority on God. Amen. And God cannot be uh, prioritized or prioritized. You have to understand that God can only be worshipped from an evidence of truth that is proven by the individual character. Words don't mean two cents to God if it's not backed up by a character. So many times there is a, uh, a manner of trying to correct God. Yes. You do it by simply trying to say, well, God, I think it should be this way, mm -hmm. or possibly we should do it like this. But you can't do God That's like right. that. That's right. Hallelujah. God, praise the Lord, he, he, he's the master. He God. Right. And we are the place. God, shake me and mold me in the way that you want me to go. Yes. Some criticize uh, when you do favors for the children, and I gave out a good blessing for the children. And someone turned right around and used it in the negative. Oh, oh my goodness. Why would you give children? Well, what, what father doesn't give his children? But it's how the child accepts the prize. Yes. Yes. Amen. You accept it with gladness That's and right. with joy. Yes. Amen. You don't accept it in a context where this is no more than what you're supposed to do. I mean, you've got that kind of spirit. And when you have the spirit of Shiloh, that that's what you're supposed to do. Yes. God is supposed to do nothing yes. but die and tell you, and then leave the responsibility of you to follow him and yes. your soul. Yes. God never died for you to have yes. multiple blessings. Amen. He said, I'll give you a blessing if you seek the kingdom of God first. Yes. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, yes. and his 
his race, or his righteousness in his race, how yes, yes, yes. he ended our earth blessings unto right, you. Yes. But don't look for a blessing from God because you think you deserve a blessing, but right. you didn't deserve one thing from God. Hallelujah. Right. But I thank God for the humility that he's given me. When my pastor taught me correction, I was able to take it. I may not have liked it, but I took it. Because I saw something in my leader to let me know he was following the leadership God had given me. And whenever you follow leadership and you have the humility of heart, you will take that guidance and you will take that correction. All right. Often, we have allowed for the teenage mode to get out of control. Oh. I've constantly taught on it, I've hit on it, over and over and over again. Yes. Mm. Parents cannot allow teenagers to teach them. Amen. Teenagers yeah. can't parent the parents. Right. Yeah. But there is a, there's something wrong with a parental system when they can't control their teenagers under them. First of all, there is no responsibility to accept correction. Yes. That not only that don't start with the teenager, that starts with the adults. Yes. Whenever you can't be corrected, you will never be a follower of God. Yes. We have to come to an understanding yes. today. You can't allow teenagers to rule your life. Yes. I said I wasn't gonna have clicks. And I said to stop a storm from getting out of control, teenagers don't spend the night with no one else. I said that. Yet people will turn around and allow this to happen anyhow after I've given the instruction. Now what kind of respect does a teenager have for the leader if the adult don't respect the leader? So we can't always blame the teenager. Sometimes we got to blame the adult. Verse 11. The words of the wise are as gold and as nails fastened by the masters of assemblies, which are given from one shepherd. Come from how many? One. One shepherd. No, no, three or four shepherds. No, sir, just one. Why is it God always figured when he gave certain correctional teaching, he always mentioned one prophet, yes. one yes. shepherd, yes. one leader, yes. one pastor. Yes. Yes. Because there has to be one central figure. Yes. And the one central figure is responsible to the one God. Yes. But if the people of one church and one body collectively gathered don't follow the one leader, yes. then the church ain't going nowhere. Yes. So we have to understand there's got to be a code of decency and in order. Yes. And we have to be able to be submissive yes. to when instructions come. Yes. When we decide to do it our way and you're going to placate everything. You can't play, first of all, you can't play, placate no teenager. Yes. Because they'll take one place. And they'll step another place, and you allow it, they'll step another place, you allow it, they'll step another place. It's just like a child. You let a child go so far, and you'll go farther and further and further. Sometimes, when I said when a child is old enough to understand how to talk, you can't put too much of a discipline code in a child when they don't understand what you're talking about. But you still have to gradually tell them. As they begin to get older, you got to tell them now, whoa, you, you can't go that far. Yes. Yes. You can't go over here. Yes. You can't, and sometimes you got to use a little bit of uh, corporal punishment. Yes. 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 It got to first start with the adults yes. before the children to comprehend. Yes. Yes. And it has to do with yes. respect to God's word. Yes. I've said often, Amen. people can come to church read the Bible and be taught. But do they honestly believe the Bible? That's right. 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 If you believe the Bible, will you put the Bible into practice Amen. in your life? Yeah. Give me down your third chapter. Amen. When you allow a test of trial to come, and I want to also say this, I never pull no gun on nobody that's right. And told them they had to stay in true life. Oh, I, 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 
Baltimore. What? And I never will. I never told you you had to be a part of Shiloh Mission. But I said, if you're going to follow me, as God has given me the vision, then you're going to follow the shallow vision that God has given me. If not, go to the many thousands of churches they got in America. And I guarantee you, if you go downtown, you can find a church here, a church across the street, a church down the street, you can find a church for a sodomite, a church for lesbian, a, 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 a church for sinners, a church for wherever you want. You can find a church, a church for drug addicts. Amen. I was watching um, CNN, oh, some years ago. When I thought everybody was safe. And uh, uh, not CNN, but TBN or whatever you call those things. And there was a preacher preaching. And a matter of fact, I think T.D. Jakes also made the same statement. Not T.D. Jakes, but uh, uh, Long. It was Long made the same statement. He said, the best sermon I ever preached, when he was high I was high on cocaine. cocaine. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I didn't hear him right. I heard him right. You got a church where actually people can be drug addicts yeah. and they claim they're just the same as you are. Amen. I serve notice to them being the same. You're not the same as me. And don't you tell me that I tell me. Don't tell me you can sin and you still say. Don't tell me that. Take that back to TDJ. Take it back there in long. Take it to George Miles. Take it to Kenneth Copeland. Praise your God. But don't bring it in too late. Hallelujah. By that proof you shall know that. That's a church is saved, the first door has saved. But you can't be saved if you don't submit to the will of God. Yes, you have to learn how to humble yourself when you don't self in order to develop a Christ-like character. If you don't have a Christ-like character, you are never here. That's, that's the word. By that proof you shall know that. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. And I'm tired of people yes. in holding this lion right. oh, yeah. and making excuses. Yeah. Oh. You can't lie and be in church. I'm not a lying preacher. Don't be in my congregation and tell lies. I don't care how I hurt you. Don't bring up your children and tell lies. What is being taught in the Sunday school? I'm going to start monitoring. That's right, prophet. There's a difference between clean and unclean. There's a difference between holy and profane. You don't tell lies in church. Right. Your character is developed by Hallelujah. your responsibility to accept the mistakes you have made. Yes. And then when you pray about it and say, God, forgive me, you don't do that no more. Yes. And I'm not saying everybody is perfectly correct today. But what I'm saying, when you make a mistake, you don't make that same mistake yes. tomorrow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And don't learn how to make excuses. Amen. That's right, Ralph. And I've said this before. When you see the relatives don't want to be a part of your church, do not be a part of them. First of all, if you're in holiness, they're not going to love you. That's right, prophet. I don't care how they sweet talk you or this, that, and the other. They cannot love you if you're in holiness. Because there is a too big of a gap between the world and the holiness church. And you can never bring the two together. You can't serve two masters. Hallelujah. We've got to understand that there are decisions that have to be made and they have to be made as a character of Christ allowed you to make that decision. And some decisions hurt a little bit. Some tests hurt a little bit. Let me get to Daniel here. Oh, uh, I want to take my time. I want to jump right in at verse 23. Oh, pardon me, verse 16 through 18. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. Now, I, I've shared with this often, but I, I want to kind of go in this direction. Yes. yes. Amen. Amen. This morning. Yes. These three Hebrew boys were confronted with a situation where they had to blaspheme God. Or put it in a better context today, they had to tell a lie to get by. Yes. You don't tell lies when you're in holiness. Yes. Children don't tell lies when you're in holiness. And I'm tired of these children old enough yes. still tell yes. lies. Yes. I'm tired of it. Yes. And I hold the parents accountable yes. for it. And if you're not going to correct the children, then I'm going to correct the children. Yeah. And if both of y'all leave, it's all right with me. Yeah. All right. But I started out teaching holiness yeah. when it was not popular and I had five members. Yeah. And I'll end up teaching yeah. holiness if I still ain't got the five members. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. God never had but three Hebrew boys. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
testify to his glory. That's going to have somebody to bear witness of the truth. Everybody's not going to hit the bit. Everybody's not going to fall down. Somebody's going to get up the place and down. Somebody's going to say, Jesus, I love you. Yeah. 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 Glory. Yes. Yeah. Glory. Yeah. Glory. Hallelujah. Yeah. Free blessing. Go. Then Reverend Meshach and Abednego answered and said to the mm -hmm. king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from a burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. Now here, the three Hebrew boys were forced or to be intimidated to worship a golden idol, Amen. to blaspheme God. And when they thought about it, they got together and said, well, we, we suffer that we can't do this. But you're faced with death. Yes. You're faced with going in the fiery furnace. Yes. But it makes no difference how much furnace you have to go in your individual life. Yes. It's not about you going in the condition. It's about who's going to be with you in that condition. Yes. You've got to understand, you can't, sometimes you can't trick your way out of a situation. Yes. Don't try to trick your way out of every situation. Sometimes you got to stand up and be counted. Hallelujah. Oh, Read again. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fire. Our God that we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fire. And he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. But okay. if not, if he don't deliver us, be it known unto thee, O king, yes. that we will not serve thy God, nor worship the God. It makes no difference yeah. whether you yeah. put us in the fiery furnace, yeah. we still not going to bow Hallelujah. because we know God is able. Now here's the important part that you got to understand. They said if God don't bless me today, I still ain't going to serve you, devil. If God don't bless me tomorrow, I still ain't going to serve you, devil. Song is something down inside of me. Yes. Yes. I don't know what it is. I can't take my hand on it, but it's telling me to run on. Yes. Hallelujah. Even when heart breaks come, when things don't go my way, it's telling me to run on. Yes. But you got to have something down inside of you. You got to have the character of Christ inside of you. Whoa. When you got the character of Christ, you face yes, things Lord. as they are. Knowing that God is on your side and God will fight your back. Hear me tonight. God hear me this morning. Hallelujah. I said God will stand up for you if you stand up for God. I don't care what you're going to do. I don't care what you're going to I don't care who's going to attack on you. If you stand up for God, God's got to stand up for you. Hallelujah. Oh, God, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We can coward me. Yes, 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 yes. Trying to be evasive and clever with words and all of this. And every time you face with a situation, you're gonna to try to figure out your way how you can talk cleverly out of it. Yes, Hallelujah. Call a thing like it is. Yes. 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 If it be so, our God whom we serve. Is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thy hand. He will deliver us, yeah. But if but if not, but if he decide not to. In other words, I know he got the power. Yes. But if he decides he's not at this particular time going to deliver me, I still got to serve him because he's my God. He's my Lord. He's everything I need. Hallelujah. When nobody wants me, when everybody turns against me, God picked me up. Somebody pray oh, yeah. to be a true light. Yeah. You didn't know you was praying for true light. You was praying uh -huh. for God to step in because of the condition yeah. of your life. You didn't yeah. you couldn't yeah. turn no from yeah. You couldn't go no other way. Yeah. And God opened up a door for you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Why would you turn your back on God now? Hallelujah. Glory. When I say clicks will destroy a church, I know what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. That's right. You can't have this set 
of friends uh -huh. right, to ostracize this That's set of right. friends. Yes. 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 And then the controlling central figure. Uh -huh. Anybody, new friends come in, oh, oh, we don't like them. So pretty soon, they gone. Right. There was a teenage girl came last year. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. And the, the, the ruining right. teenager didn't like her. Yes. So she stayed about two or three times yes. and it's gone. Yes. The one who won't party too late. Well, that's my responsibility. Yes. That's why I said, I don't want this. Yes. If you can't be sweet Amen. and nice and humble yes. and not get together in a little clique and talk about, any time they get together in a little clique, they're going to talk about the ones who got in there. No, don't tell me they won't. Hallelujah. We was there once before. Yes. Teenagers. Hallelujah. We've been there before. So we are trying to teach you not to make the same mistake we made. And we are able to teach you because we are older than you. Hallelujah. So let's understand. There has to be a sense of correction. And when I try to sweet talk and baby and white noses and change diapers, pretty soon you ain't got no bit of no diaper on. Pretty soon you got to go and get your handkerchief to write your own nose. Hallelujah. I'm saying pretty soon you got to grow up. And accept your responsibility. And if you don't, then I'm going to correct you. And if you don't like it, bye. Get your greyhound. Hallelujah. If you don't like it, then get your greyhound right along with you. And I'll be with that stuff. Next time you go to heaven. Praise the Lord. And we are it gets a demon spirit. Yeah. Someone just gave me this material. Yeah. Uh, here again, lesbians yeah. want to dress like men and go to these proms. Yeah. I, I told the elder, what is, what is taking place here? Y'all don't even understand what's taking place. What they're trying to do is bring the lesbian sodomite movement is trying to bring test cases. Yeah. I dare school to say, no, you, you can't do this. That's improper. Amen. So they're going to get the SCLU, is that the name of it? ACLU, yeah. ACLU yeah. and uh, that communist backed organization, whatever they're supposed to be. Yeah. And uh, they'll come and fight and then they'll use uh, the Constitution mm -hmm. and, and, and enforce the people because they've taken the Constitution out of context. Yeah. See, the Constitution never meant that you could do what you wanted to do. Right. Now, if you think, like I said, I use the example many times, if you think so, take all your clothes off and walk down Main Street. Naked. Yeah. And, 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 and tell them I belong and here's my card. Oh, I don't have my clothes on, but my, my, my card's in my wallet. Uh, I belong to the National Nudity Club, United States of America, and I'm 21. Why you tell me I don't have a right to practice what I want? You can't do that. Why? Because they say, well, that is disorderly kind of. It's uh, what they call it? Uh, it's decent. Exposure. Yes. But who said so? Well, here it is in the law. But the law also says sodomy is a sin. Sodomy is a crime. And it's in the law. What happened to the law when it comes to sodomy? Because the sodomites and the lesbians have forced their way and they have caused the Constitution to be revamped. Let's re examine it and reshape it or make it read other than what it is intended to read. But you can revamp the Constitution, but you'll never revamp the world. So, wait a get, get, get to, uh, uh, I'm in Daniel chapter yes. 3, uh, verse 24. Uh, 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 back to 23. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, bound into the midst of the burning fiery fire. Now, they bound them. They didn't just throw them in there. Yes, you know, your elder mound is, they, they tied their hands and feet. Amen. And then throw them in there. Uh, verse 24. And Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? We put three men in the midst yes. of the fire. They answered and said unto the king, True, O okay. king. And he answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose. It was what? Out of what? And doing what? What? Yeah. 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 They were bound when they threw them in the fire. And when God stepped into the condition with them, they were loose. They were what? You 